Showtime decided early on that we weren't just going to have a couple of dedicated edit suites that people would check out. We gave a, a workstation to every producer, designer, editor on the floor and said, this is yours. When, uh, when a producer owns the means of production, one is it encourages an experimentation because there's no clock ticking, so you can really just try something you've never tried before. All the Adobe products that we use, After Effects, Premiere, Photoshop, and Illustrator have a very similar interface and are interoperable. After Effects is a compositor uh, and a very, very detailed, precise compositor. A Premiere is an editor uh, with compositing attributes to it. Someone will first lay out some type in Photoshop and then they'll import the layers into After Effects and from there they'll create a graphics wrap. At the same time, someone else is working on a Premiere file that's the body uh, of a particular piece. Um, and then within Premiere, we'll uh, import the After Effects product uh, as the end pages or as the graphics wrap, and we'll take Premiere as the body. Premiere's ease of use is one thing, but also the fact that we can have professional working features in the same interface is really great to work on you know, easy entry point and very powerful high-level tools at the same time. Basic tools that we need, you know, trimming functions, slip and slides, proper keyboard shortcuts, or three-point three editing uh, is quite important to an editor, and, and it's all there. The following movie is rated R. It's so much more valuable to be able to see the material, click it, move it, adjust it right in front of you. The cost savings for us is quite dramatic, particularly for in working with Premiere, which is by far the most cost-effective editing package that is out there. It's not just about saving the money. We can also do things faster, cheaper, and actually more empowered. The fact of the matter is we produced five networks, 365, 24-7, and we could not do it without the Adobe product suite. Well, for graphic designers, After Effects seems like a natural next step. They've, you're familiar already, most of us are, with Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop, and it's, you, once you learn how to use those things, it, it seems natural to, to want to make them move, and it's easy to do that. I'm addicted to it now. I can't imagine not doing things that move. A lot of the filters and even the transfer modes work basically the way the Photoshop filters and um, layers work. This is a piece of software that'll let you you know, use the things you're used to doing and you can do it all on the computer in your office. And that was sort of mind-bending and surprising and wonderful. I mean, that's what got me excited about doing it was the fact that I could do it myself because I really, I'm a hands-on designer. I don't like having to stand over someone else's shoulder and say, can you make it bigger? Can you move it to the left? Or can you change the color? I just get frustrated and I like to be able to do the experimentation myself. And After Effects let you do that because you can, lets me do you know, it lets me do it over 18,000 times <laughs> if that's what I decide I want to do. We can go to a client and say, you know, we can give you an identity that works in print. We can provide a logo and stationery and all the traditional print solutions. But now, yes, we can give you an animation for the header of your reel if you're a production company or the opening on your website. It's allowed me to, um, to help my clients in ways I couldn't before. My training at, at Art Center has been in traditional graphic design and packaging. So I heard about this After Effects class and being able to animate and bring your 2D kind of print uh, designs to life. And I think that class has had a profound effect on what I do because I was introduced to this way of working that was just so fascinating for me. Blind was started with very little money. After Effects allowed three people that were great friends from school to have a company and to work uh, for ourselves and it actually allowed us to work on very high-end projects with the kind of equipment that we have. K2 was a, a rare project for us. It was a commercial that was designed to be very graphics intensive where there was a lot of type, these adjectives that uh, somebody might feel. I think the, the degree of control that you have with the program, the interface, it, you know, it being extremely intuitive. There's a lot of precision if I want to slow an object down. I have a lot of control using, adjusting the curves and uh, the keyframes. One of the great features 
of After Effects is the ability to, while you're working on a comp, to open up that particular file and, and open it up in F Illustrator or Photoshop, make a minor adjustment to it, and then it automatically saves the changes, re-imports it into After Effects. I think that's a huge, huge time saving feature. Having After Effects, is, it's at the core of our business. Without it, we probably will not be able to work as in the capacity that we do as, as, independent, as an independent company. Three years ago this August, we really started to ramp up for the whole multimedia Hallmark product. We looked at a number of, of packages that would fit with all the other imaging software that we were using at the time. Premiere is like the logical fit. You can take digital video and edit it down and then output in whatever format we needed, whether that's a quick time movie, uh, picked sequence, target sequence, and it was, it was fairly universal. You know, it's cross-platform, and we didn't have any compatibility problems going back and forth. After Effects for us, if it's more of an animation tool as opposed to a video editing tool. The thing that blew me away about After Effects was the fact that it just opened up this whole new world of possibilities. It was like you saw how you could take existing product that we were doing at Hallmark and just develop this whole new category with it. Since then, we've produced like 1,700 greetings that are now out on the website. And then every month, we're producing like 40 to 50 multimedia greetings that now go out on the web as additional content that we continue to add. It gives you all the things that you get when you're doing lithography or intaglio printing, but now you've added this whole new dimension of time to it, and it's, it's fantastic. And, and that's, that's what I like to do. It's my thing. Second Story is a design firm that my partner and I form. We specialize in website design. Without the Adobe products, we wouldn't be able to do what we do today for the web. With the National Geographic Project for Expeditions, we were faced with the challenge of showing physical um, characteristics and how they affect the Big Island of Hawaii. And we thought, how are we ever going to communicate this? And after um, doing some sketches and comps in Photoshop, we realized that we could build certain uh, vector files, like the arrows, for example, in the wind, in Illustrator, bring those into Photoshop, create a sequence, and we could then import that into After Effects, and we could animate the arrows within After Effects. We could create masks and uh, motion paths and track the wind cycle and the arrows coming in and how they would break apart. With the capabilities of streaming video on the web now, we're able to use Premiere and edit our video sequences and sync up the audio and export streaming video from Premiere. The products are amazing. And even though we're a small studio, we're able to get professional quality software, but for a fraction of the price. At Digital Domain, I have a variety of tools to use, uh, to, to choose from. When it comes to pre-visualization, it just makes a lot of sense for me to, to use Premiere. It's a cost-effective way and also a, a, a way to be very spontaneous uh, when you're being creative. You've got 900 frames to tell a story, and you better use every one of those 900 frames very judiciously. I've drawn 50 storyboard frames for a 30-second spot, but I, I don't have a clue as to what frames will work in the commercial and what frames won't work in the commercial. The story opens with a mouse. He gets up on his hind legs, and he sees the most magnificent piece of cheese ever. The camera pulls out from an over-the-shoulder of the mouse. This maze is the size of Cleveland. You cut to a shot, the camera's on the deck, he's backlit, this heroic shot of him holding this torch, and he heaves the match, and you see the match flying end over end, slow motion, into the maze and blows the maze to bits. It's the perfect pre-visualization tool. The filters are just great. Uh, you know, being able to do, you know, 
wipes and, and keys. That's a lot of power. I mean, what used to take me a production switcher, you know, five years ago to do, I'm, I'm doing it in Premiere on a cost-effective platform. That's a great tool. About a year and a half ago, we started doing visual effects. We ended up doing over 250 uh, feature film resolution visual effects shots for major pictures, including Starship Troopers, Titanic, The Jackal, uh, Deep Rising, uh, Spawn. After Effects was a key tool for us in doing feature film effects. We've used motion math for some of our graphical shots where, uh, for instance, in Spawn we have these night vision POVs of uh, Simmons' POV of an airplane that's pulling in. And what we would do is we would track elements in the shot for the panning motion and so on and take the, the X and Y positional data and translate that to some of our graphic elements so that they move and numbers change correctly to uh, really get the motion down. The clouds over the city shot for Spawn was a hero shot, but it was very nebulously defined in the script and, and in the storyboard. We use uh, After Effects to do all of our blue screen keys using actually just the standard uh, keying packages in the production bundle. The spill suppressor is great. Clearly when we're dealing with shots like the cloud shot where we have literally thousands of layers that need to be pre-comped and put together, the only way to organize a lot of that is through the use of Adobe After Effects uh, nesting capability for the different compositions. We were able to do the whole final shot including the clouds and, and all the different elements and the layers and the camera motion all in After Effects. One of the really nice things in the outputting of files in After Effects is that you can set up multiple outputs but only render it once. If you want to have a video res version of it and then you want to do the full 2K version of it and you want to do a crop section just to see some detail and then you want to do a check movie that is quarter scale so that you can check just to make sure that the render went okay, you don't have to render it four times. You render it once and you use four different output modules and it, it will do it all at the same time. There's a real revolution going on in the visual effects business in which more and more smaller shops and boutiques are entering the marketplace and what's making that possible are desktop systems and programs like Adobe After Effects because it gives us the capability of doing high quality film resolution visual effects work on a much smaller budget. Belief is a broadcast design studio. We do commercials, network IDs, feature leads, promos, image campaigns, anything, how we quantify it is anything with type that moves. We look at ourselves as a design studio, not an effects house. So there's two different mindsets when you're using two After Effects, schools you know, thought. schools of thought. There's like the effects mindset and then like a design mindset. The nice thing about After Effects is that you can bring in, let's say, an Illustrator file and it's, you know, you can scale into that A all the way till it's just the triangle of the A and use that as a map for you the screen. You have no rasterizing. And there's, it's just perfectly smooth. It allows you so much versatility now with type and how you want to handle type and how you want to uh, change the baseline, change the kerning, change whatever with the type. It's very flexible, very powerful. And the idea that you can bring in a Photoshop comp in and all the layers are separate is brilliant. Take a huge Photoshop file that's, you know, a 3K file and, you know, do a pan across it, you know? It's like you don't have to, like, create a loopable element or, or film a pan of something. You can just take a digital file and just pan across it because it can support huge files. Creativity comes at all times of the night. So, you know, you may get an idea in the middle of the night and want to go in and start working on it. You know, with After Effects, it's your tool. It's on your desktop. You can do that. And here you don't have to worry about anything. It all works with each other. And you digitize in Premiere, you create an Illustrator, then you bring in Photoshop, you paint in Photoshop, you bring it all in After Effects, and you, you do the image, you make it all beautiful, and bring it out through Premiere. And it's like, it's packaged. The whole thing works. I mean, that's, that's the key with After Effects and, and all the Adobe products is they work. And there's nothing quite like that. You know, it's just the fact that it just works every time. It's stable you know, it's reliable and you can get work done.